Hey guys, uh, we're going to be looking at my office slash desk setup. All the items you see are going to be linked in the description, and if they're not linked, then it's just going to say the name of it. And first I'm going to be showing some pictures and some b-roll for people who just want to see a nice and simple look at what it looks like, and then I'm going to do a, a little walkthrough of it all. Please excuse any bad filming and stuff like that, I'm just trying to show it to you guys. Uh, nothing too special. Alright, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. So up in front, we have my three monitors. Uh, they're Dell U2414Hs, 1080p, and they do the trick. Uh, I've had them for quite a while and I love them ever since I got them. And one little life hack for you guys, if you have uh, two monitors, three monitors, or just monitors next to each other, you can put a little piece of black electric tape right down the seams on the back of them and it stops light passing through the backside and just makes it look nice and flush together and just a little life hack for you guys <laughs> all right so my monitor setup i started with two by one setup and i'm going to be showing pictures of what it used to look like through the progression and whenever you have two you always wanted three back in the day before ultra wides came out uh, so then I went to a 3 by uh, one setup uh, with the TV on top. It was a great setup. And then my last setup video, um, I took the TV off the top and I used the same uh, triple monitor stand and it worked great. But my end goal was always wall mounting the monitors. I moved to a new room and there's a big window. And I got rid of the stand and <laughs> uh, was hoping to wall mount, but you obviously can't wall mount uh, with a window there. So uh, factory stands are gonna have to work for the time being. All right, so that's enough talking about monitors and all that stuff. So over here is my 2012 MacBook. Uh, this is pretty much the first computer that I own myself. I got it for college and coding. Um, I know a lot of PC master race people hate on uh, Apple in general, but I think their MacBooks are an okay product. They're reliable and they run Unix, which is great for coding and stuff like that. And it's sitting on a color matching stand, uh, which is going to be linked in the description. It works great. I mean, it's a metal stand. It helps cool the MacBook and uh, I love it. And over here, we got my uh, blue snowball mic, ye old faithful. Works well for uh, the price and uh, price of it. And I have Klipsch monitors. So I got a two by one, so sub on the floor and two in the front. And then we got my uh, Corsair keyboard and Corsair mouse. Um, I used to really like Corsair, as you can see. And then over here, we got the main attraction. So it is running with an Intel 4690K, which is an i5. Um, it has uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM for graphics card. It has two 770s. Um, it has a 256 uh, gigabyte SSD and a two terabyte hard drive. Uh, really, in terms of stuff nowadays, uh, it's nothing special. Uh, but for me, it, it plays the games that I want, so I don't really need to upgrade it. Okay, let's talk about the big desk. So, it has two IKEA Alex drawers underneath. And then it's coupled with a, an IKEA hardwood countertop. And you can get this in a variety of different types of wood, uh, oak, birch, etc. Personally, I like the solid wood option compared to the particle board just because it's more rigid. And, and personally, I think it looks very nice. I went with a 98 inch version, which is huge. But as you can see, it easily fits the triple monitor setup and everything. All right, so separating the drawers and the countertop are these little feet. And I used to have ones that were a lot taller. And personally, I'm just under six feet tall and it was just a little bit too tall for me. So I went ahead and picked up uh, ones that are just about half the size of the old ones and it works perfect. I'll, I'll link both of them just in case you guys are looking into doing this and you can 
see the options, but personally for me, uh, the shorter ones are, are the one that work great for me. And then cable management, again, I went with Ikea. Their stuff works well. <laughs> so uh, it's the Ikea Signum racks, and I have two of them. Um, as you can see, it doesn't make it look great underneath the desk, but what it does is it keeps everything off the top of the desk. And it basically, it's just a nice cable runner, and it works well. And it's nice and cheap, too. And on to my little server rack. So sitting on top, uh, I have a Netgear R7000, uh, one of the best routers ever, in my opinion. It's running a form of DDWRT on it, and it's really been solid since the day that I got it, which was quite a while ago now. All right, so uh, going a little bit lower, we have my modem, some various hard drives, and some shuffed easy stores. Uh, if you're a data hoarder, you'll really understand uh, the appeal to easy stores, and they're a great cost for what you get. And then we have my Hue and SmartThings hubs. And then we have a TP-Link 16-port switch. And then right below it, uh, we have a little surge protector, um, just for things that I don't have plugged into uh, my UPS. Then going a little bit lower, we have one of the newest additions since my last video, and that's uh, the Synology DS1815+. Plus. And pretty much what I've been using this for is a personal media server, surveillance, and the biggest thing for me is Plex. I've been using Plex Live TV and DVR service, and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more of that type of setup in just a little bit after this. Right at the bottom, I have my uh, CyberPower uh, UPS for all the important stuff. Uh, really, UPSs just give you a nice little peace of mind, make sure everything's good if you get a power surge or a power outage. Now we're in my uh, home theater area. So right here is an HD home run, and this one is the Connect Quattro, which basically means that it has four tuners on it, so you can watch four channels um, at the same time. And how these guys work is basically, you plug them into your home network, and then you attach an antenna to it. And you can see the reflection of mine in the window over here. But basically, the antenna takes in all local channels, so you're getting free TV. You don't get premium channels, by the way. But you get free TV, and then all this can integrate into Plex. So what you can do with Plex, then, is you can schedule recordings of the free over-the-air TV. Pretty nifty. And that'll pretty much sum everything up. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section. I'm pretty good at getting back with answers for you guys. And just as like a little thing, one of the most common questions I had in my last video was whether or not the desk was sagging at all in the middle. And there is no sagging at all. You can totally get a little like post for the middle part of it if you want to. You don't really need to in my opinion, and with the hardwood, I have not seen any sagging. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to ask any questions you have and have a good day.